everyone, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. It has been quite a little while, uh, roughly a week, I think. This is hopefully going up on Sunday the 5th? Yes, the 5th. Had to look over at my computer real quick. Let's immediately get Expedition done and out of the way. Two wins on that. Awesome. Got a good treasure. Nice. The Mistress's support. Okay. Anyways, so now we're missing one special from there and one special from there, and we've got all the specials everywhere else. Let's jump back to Norman Islands and see what we can find there. Probably get to level 9 in the process. Scout ships. Hopefully we can get it. We'll see. But anyways, also as you can tell, everyone's levels have gone up a little bit since last time, and I have a fourth Blast Gauge on Velvet. I don't remember what level I unlocked that. I think it was like level 27, 28, and it gave me an extra Blast Gauge. I wanted to get a little higher level than this, but... I really wanted to record, and I got tired of grinding levels, so here we are. I've just realized that three out of the six characters here have green eyes. That's kind of weird. Lafayette, Eleanor, and Magilu all have green eyes. And then Velvet and Rokuro have the same kind of, like, what, what would you call that? Amber? And then Aizen's got blue. That's weird. But anyways, uh, the Velvet's is a little bit of a lighter shade than Rokuro's, actually. But these three greens are all, like, the exact same shade. They, they look exactly the same. But anyways, yeah, we're going to be continuing where he left off. So also you can tell my playtime has gone up a lot since last time because I was grinding levels off screen. But hopefully we should be having a bit of an easier time. We were getting a little bit of a difficult bump in the last time I recorded. Sorry. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember where the teleporter is because I know there's one around here somewhere. Because we unlocked it before and that's how I got back over here be last time before I wrapped up the session. Anyways... Uh, oh, and we have the skit to do as well. Almost forgot that. I really don't want to fight these Nagas because I hate Nagas. Get away from me. I also got a lot of cat souls, as you can tell. We're at 330, 31, moving up in the world. I really don't want to fight any Nagas because they get on my last nerve. I think the teleporter is right over through here, if I'm not mistaken. There are also Code Red demons we need to go and fight again. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or not, but we'll see about it. But for now, let's do the skit. Hey, Mogilu. I was wondering about that book you have on your waist. The one you called your heavy book. For flower pressings. Your curiosity truly knows no bounds, does it, kiddo? Okay, nobody else knows this, but since you're so interested, I'd hate to leave you hanging. My heavy book, the one I use for flower pressings, is none other than a collection of Bienfu's poetry. Bienfu likes to write poems? Yep. You'd never guess it, but he's actually just about the best Moloch poet around. Some people even call him the Great Norman Poet. Here, I'll read you my favorite one. If there is something unimportant happening to the east, I'm made to go there and back. If there is something unimportant happening to the west, I'm made to go there and back. I can never rest nor be at peace. Every day my life is a living hell. That's... heavy stuff. Isn't it? That's what makes it so good for pressing flowers! It's so wonderfully, oppressively heavy. Mogilu, your face has gone all sinister looking. What the heck is with Mogilu? I, do, I don't understand. Anyways, the Kraken is over there. I don't, even though I've gotten some more level ups, I really don't want to deal with the Kraken, so we're not going to fight it today. But like I said, eventually, maybe, can this thing, like, get away from me? Thank you. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this. Also, I don't know. Oh, the teleporter. Okay, I see where the teleporter is. It's on the map now. So let's run back down this way and get to the top. I think it's faster to double back to the teleporter than it is to go all the way through. But anyways... I forgot what I was saying before. Oh yeah, even though I have level ups now, I still think the Kraken might be a little above our pace. And on top of that, I also will be fighting every single Code Red Demon. We're going to beat them all. Like, don't worry about that. I'll run back through... Possibly, you know, post-game shenanigans more than likely is what it'll be after I've beaten the main game. I'll run back through and defeat them all. Let's fight this bird. The birds aren't too annoying to fight, so I'll take them out. Let's go, you stupid hawks. You stand no chance. I'm gonna tear you apart with my Earth-type moves. Die, I say. Get out of here. What happens when I theorize off of a bird? Is it Laughing Raven, I think? Yeah, it is. That's one of my favorite theorize combos, whatever they're called. I actually don't know what they're called. Okay, I got stunned right as I pressed R2 to try and suck up some theorization. So that kind of sucks, but whatever. Can you, can you birds stop? Get out of here. I was not having this much trouble with these birds when I played off screen. That is such a cool Mystic Art. That might be my favorite Mystic Art so far. Give me your soul. 
All of your souls belong to me. There you go. I still need a lot of training. Is training hard? It's necessary, so no, I don't think so. <laughs> Classic honor roll, student. I think we might have seen that one already, but we got some level ups. Sick. Oh, and a bunch of stuff is mastered because I didn't mess around with any of the armor while I was grinding up levels. Which probably was a mistake. Shell Shredder or Amphibble Blade? This one goes a lot faster, and non-elemental attack power up by 4% is actually really good. So we'll do that one next. Uh, and then Floric Garment is done. You've still got to do the shirt and this. This takes a lot less time, so we'll do this one first. Alright. Still not done with the freaking Flame Wards, man. They never end. They take seven years. All right, you're done with that, but you don't have any other daggers, unfortunately. Uh, you're done with this talisman, and we do have another talisman for you. Almost done with the waistcoat. The burning dash you're finally finished with, thank goodness. You need the hard shoes, but you can't have them right now, and you need the amphibole, whatever they're called, boots, but you can't have them, but you need floric boots, so that works out. Awesome. Thorny waistcoat you're done with. Go ahead and get to floric. I'm not going to put too much focus on what you're switching to. Because, I mean, I want them to master everything they possibly can anyways, so... Halberd takes forever to level up. That's a really good ability. Capability versus Undead, plus 10. This spear only takes 65, so get it done, then I'll probably put you on the Halberd. And then you're done with Floric Boots. So I think you just need the Amphibole ones. Oh, no, Featherlight Steps. Oh, these are... I was about to say, why didn't I see this for Rokuro? It's because they're women only. All right, then get to work on that. Uh, you can also get to work on them as well. Are you done with Floric, though? Yeah, you are. Okay, so you can also get on some feather light steps. I really wish that some people would start finishing up their wards. Because those are taking so long. Go ahead and get the lowest one done first. Why not? Alright, cool. We're set on that, then. Let's get on over to this teleporter. And then... What are we doing? We're going to the temple that they... Sectioned off that the Abbey took control of. Because they didn't want people worshipping... I think it's called Amanok, the Water Empyrean. They want everyone to worship Inominat instead. There are a ton of cat souls lying around. So I will gladly take all these. Something in my throat there. Anyways. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright, we should have no worries opening up any cat chests we run into. There's the Kraken. I'll beat him eventually. One day, even if I have to wait until the post game to go back and take him out. I think this is the direction I need to go. I said direction really funnily, but... You know what I meant. No, 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 no. I came from this way. I think. Or did I? Hold up. Can I open up, like, a... Is there a map I can open up? Like, a full area map? Did I go this way? No, I don't think I did, actually. No, there's a chest right there I haven't opened. There's no way I went this way. I would have opened that chest. All right, cool. Thank you, chest, for telling me which direction to go in. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since I read the comments for these videos, but I'm pretty sure, it might have been Lone Wolf or someone else said, that uh, the Manon Reef is actually one of the more difficult areas in terms of level scaling in the game. So, it was no surprise that since I was slightly under level, I was having some difficulty. Come here, Naga. Let's do it. Time to face my fears. Take out a Naga. Die, I say. Gonna do this so I don't get hit by that, but Rokuro stopped it anyway, so... Bit of a mistake on my part. We'll make it work. Mystic Arts! Ariel, good damage. I'll have plenty of time to get up my Freight Gods again, and it's actually, I'm still at one, so that's pretty good. I hope all the other characters can get up to having four soon. That'd be really good. I definitely like having an extra. I think it might be better to try and use my uh, triangle attack. Yeah, to get some stuns, I was just about to say. If I can get a stun off, that'd be wonderful. There we go, now we're talking. No, 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 no casting. Let me theorize. Even though the POTUS Therianization is literally my least favorite. I hate Freight Boost. I don't like it. We're finished here. Let's go. Is my audio record? Yes, it is. Thank goodness. Like, twice within two weeks, I've had it where my audio hasn't recorded on a session. I've had to restart it. And so I'm always really, really, really worried that I've forgotten to start my audio. Let's go ahead and back attack this one just because we can. Why is there a single Naga? Like, why? Are you kidding me with this right now? I can't move. How did I get stunned twice right out the gate? That's so dumb. Give me some stuns. Oh, you can't theorize when you're two souls. I forgot. I was trying to theorize there. Ariel. 
Ow. All right, you stupid Naga, come here. I'm sick of your crap. Time to die. Now we're talking, and I got the Laughing Raven, I think. Yes, I did. Beautiful. Ah, uh, now we're talking. This is, see, this is how it should have gone from the very start. Should have been this way from the very beginning. Die, you foolish bird. Maggie Lou, why are you here? Who switched out? Did Rokuro switch out? I think it had to have been Rokuro. Whatever, there we go. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Rokuro's HP was really low. I saw it was. No, it's not as low now. Go ahead and switch you out there. If I'm in this. Lappy said, you have to stay because I don't like Maggie Lou and I need a healer. All right, what have we here? Yes, I'll open it. I have plenty of souls to spare. Shiba Inu tail. I actually have a Shiba Inu. We got a Shiba Inu puppy about two, three months ago. It is a little devil, man. I tell you, they're such... They love to bite everything. Or at least my Shiba Inu does. I think it's a Shiba Inu thing in general, though. They just love to bite stuff. It's their favorite pastime. Which is a major change from my family's normally... Uh, normally? <laughs> normal dog, which is a pug. We still actually do have a pug, but he's, like, really old now. But uh, he doesn't like to really bite anything. His deal is chasing cars. Because he does that way too much. He's too old to do it now, but when he was younger, he would chase cars a lot. Got run over like three times and somehow survived. Oh my goodness, the Manon Reef is so big. Why? We had two chests to grab while we're here. But anyways, yeah. Berseria. Glad to be back to it. It's going to be a lot of this. I've decided... Well, I say I've decided, but I really have no choice. I didn't get a Switch pre-ordered in time because they like sold out in a day and a half and I did not expect that at all. I didn't realize Nintendo would be doing their scarcity shenanigans where they don't make enough of the product to try and make it seem like it's selling a lot. That appears to be what they're doing, which I'm not a fan of. But nothing I can do about that. So there are no... I can't get a Switch at the moment, so I can't do my playthrough of Breath of the Wild unless I did it on the Wii U and I'd rather just wait. Because honestly... Said, picking up on anything? Yeah, in the direction of the temple. The feeling's getting stronger now. Gotta be getting close then. But anyway, so the point is, is I don't have a Switch. I could buy, I have the money for a Switch. Like, as soon as one is available in my area, I'm gonna buy one. But at the moment, I just can't get one. Which is honestly fine, because between Berseria and Horizon Zero Dawn, and, uh, what's the other thing I'm playing? Digimon World Next Order? I've got enough playthroughs going on the channel as is. And it seems like everyone is enjoying them. And I know there are a bunch of people that want to see me do Breath of the Wild, and I am gonna do Breath of the Wild. That playthrough is going to happen once I get my hands on a Switch. In fact, probably what will happen is I'll get a Switch a little after I finish up Berseria and either Zero Dawn or Digimon or something like that. And I'll need new games to start, and I'll probably start Dream Drop Distance and Breath of the Wild is my plan. But it all depends on how it goes. We'll see. The Palamedes Temple. For now, we're just going to focus on the three amazing games that we're already doing on the channel. So that is the plan this is a surprisingly small temple i don't know why but i thought it'd be bigger maybe it goes into the ground or underwater somewhat uh-oh people are downed what's this a demon the demon we heard about sounds like it's having fun then we'll use this distraction. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh yeah, it does go straight down. Thought so. Secrets of the Undersea Temple. Wow, look outside. It's the ocean. This was a place of worship for Amenoch, the water Empyrean. The ancients built this sanctuary underwater for the same reason that Eumacia's temples were built underground. But building this underwater couldn't have been easy. Aye. With the Earth Temples, all they had to do was keep digging. Here, they had water to contend with. How did they do it? You can't split the sea like you can a log. They started by stacking giant stone blocks in the shallows, creating an enclosed space. Then they drained the water and expanded the enclosure. Once they had done that enough times and secured enough dry space, they were able to dig into the sea floor. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? The humans believed that by going through such great hardships to build these temples, they could show the depth of their devotion. Additionally, current research suggests the site of this temple once sat on the seacoast. What? Are you saying I'm wrong? No, I'm only reporting what I've read in academic journals. 
How would coastal ruins sink into the ocean? When the Empyreans began their slumber, the land shifted, and this temple was swallowed by the sea. Scholars were able to prove that the sand and the heavy stones formed an airtight seal around the structure. Later, people carved an undersea tunnel to connect to the temple, bringing it to its current state. Now that you mention it, I think I read that book too. Revised theories on ancient architecture, right? That's the one. Have you read it, Aizen? No, I only read the first edition. The problem with the stone enclosure theory is that each time you expand the enclosure, the innermost stones have to be carried out. Once that was pointed out as being too inefficient, alternate theories were developed. The revised edition has a number of competing theories. I highly recommend reading it. Uh, I will then. So, wait, was that a complete rebuttal of Aizen's explanation? Th that was not my intention. Ah, it's okay. Archaeology is a continuous process of asking new questions and making new discoveries. Prevailing theories change all the time. What's it matter anyway? Let's just get going. <laughs> Typical Velvet just doesn't care. There's no Empyrean here, right, Aizen? If you're worried about it, why not flip that coin of his? Heads, no Empyrean. Tails, Empyrean Central. But it always comes up tails. Like I said before, these temples are nothing more than places of worship built by human hands. The current religion started when humans, fearful of natural forces, began to worship four gods they called the Empyreans. If you're concerned about whether or not one is sleeping in these ruins, just remember that their very existence is only legend. Be that as it may, Enominat certainly exists. Aye. But I've never heard a single story of anyone actually seeing an Empyrean. Enominat must be a special case, then. Must be. I suppose so. If there were four more like him, and they were all trying to stop us, we'd be sunk. I can't disagree. Alright, then. Oh, hey, not all of you have died to the might of the... whatever it is, the demon down here. Strong, Let's get going. Weak to fire, you say? Oh, I've got some fire for you, buddy. Yeah, there we go. I really want more fire arts. Don't I, isn't my fourth one a new fire art? I think it is. I remember getting a new one, didn't I? No, I didn't. Never mind. It's still Searing Edge. Can I get a new fire art? I could have sworn that I had. You know what? I think it's zoomed. What happens when you theorize people? What move do I get? Oh, Discord. Awesome. I love Discord. Discord and Laughing Raven are probably my two favorites that I can think of off the top of my head. I love theorizing so much. Burn away. Discord is OP, man. It's too good. Oh, wait a minute. Does Aizen only wear the wrist? Oh, are you kidding me? Out of the Mystic Art cutscene? That was hacks. Anyways, Aizen, the wristbands we equip to Aizen, he only wears it on his left arm. You're not hurt, are you? We've seen this one. I never realized that he only wears it on the left. I thought it went on to both wrists. How about that? Learn something new every day. Did we master something there? I think we did. Someone mastered something, I'm pretty sure. No, they didn't, really. Huh. What is this? We got some water blockage. I hope this is not like the Water Temple in Zestiria, because the Water Temple in Zestiria was a nightmare. Something is written on the monolith. The chalice bears a symbol, and that commands the flowing water. Should the chalice be filled with water and its mark turned blue, the water shall be as a wall to thwart your path. Should the chalice be dried by flame and its mark turned white, the impeding water shall lie still, opening the path before you. All right. Find the chalice, get the water out of it. Duly noted. Give me all these cat souls as I go. This is a really big temple. Holy cow. There's an indent in the pedestal. It looks like you can insert something into it. Okay, so I can't just make fire myself. I have to locate something. Leave me alone. You care? What the heck are you carrying? I thought that was a broomstick for a second there. I was really confused. Got another chalice here. Oh, okay. This one we can affect for some reason. All right, that was simple enough. And then the red crystals become blue. Whoops. When a chalice is filled with water, the waterfall connecting to it flows, blocking the way through. Using fire to boil away the water will halt the waterfall and allow you to move onward. It is said these chalices sometimes serve other purposes as well. Okay. I can break this. Easy. Gimme, gimme. There are chest on this side. Indeed, there is. Denor bottle. Nice. Gotta keep an eye out for these breakable walls, man. I'm telling you. 
at what? Did it, is this the other thing it was talking about? It turned that guy into a demon? Oh, this guy's already a demon. He's a lizard. Get away from me. Another chalice in here, like I thought. I want to see if the chalices will reset one another. Since I turned this one off, does it turn the other one back on? These are the questions that I have and must know for science. It didn't give me a cutscene of the other one going back to water, and the minimap says I can still make it there, so it should be fine. It changed this one. It switches their positions? Does it, like, flip the universe or something? What the heck? Can I mess with this one now? Uh, no, I still need something in the pedestal. So that something has got to be through one of the doors that I opened up by getting rid of the waterfalls then. 